live from Miami Beach, Florida, extracting the signal from the noise. It's the Cube, covering .next conference. Brought to you by Nutanix. Welcome back to SiliconANGLE TV's live coverage from the Nutanix.next conference here in steamy Miami. I'm Stu Miniman with Wikibon.com. Pleased to have back a uh, CUBE alum, Travis Vigil, who's executive director of product management with Dell Storage. Travis, thanks for coming back. Thank you for having me, Stu. I'm very excited to be here. Very so excited to be at the inaugural uh, Nutanix user conference. Yeah, so, so Travis, you, you and I have been at a lot of events together. We've talked to you on the, the, the Cube and off. Uh, you know, what's your take here? I mean, the, the, the vibe, you know, almost a thousand people. Oh, yeah. You know, you always get the true believers that come out, yeah. but I mean, people are really excited about, it's about infrastructure, I mean, come yeah, on. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I mean, honestly, uh, you know, I've, I've, in my career, have done first time user conferences uh, with some pretty popular products, and we uh, really pushed to get two, 300 customers at those events. And the fact that uh, Nutanix was able to get you know north of 800 customers, uh, kept the uh, you know the the sponsor representatives, um, you know kept the Nutanix folks to a minimum. I mean, this is really about customer and partner interactions, and uh, it's just been a fantastic vibe. I mean, everything from the fact that. Uh, they had two of their most loyal customers do the introduction at the beginning of the keynote yesterday. Yeah. Uh, to Deeridge's uh, talk about empathy, um, to all of the great product announcements uh, that Nutanix made and, and the subsequent announcements that we made alongside them with our XC series of product. Uh, it's just an amazing, uh, an amazing environment. Yeah, it, it, it's actually their, their first customer that was on there, um, and it's interesting for me. Uh, you know, watch the storage industry for a lot of years, and you know some of those storage shows. Um, you know, this is it's kind of a storage show, but it, it's really more than that. And then you know the announcement from Nutanix this week, you know, kind of positions them. Um, as as Deeraj said, they're, they're humble, so we're not a platform company yet. Yeah. Um, but you know, wh what do you see? Kind of that that changing role of how storage fits in, which obviously led yeah. uh, to the OEM of Nutanix. So, you know, I think the the storage aspect um, of what Nutanix does is absolutely um, critical to the success of software defined and hyper-converged infrastructure uh, type of offerings, web scale type offerings. Um, but, uh, you know, when we partnered with, uh, with Nutanix, when we came out with the XC series of product, it wasn't just as a storage offering. The storage team at Dell sponsored the introduction of it, but we know full and well that it is uh, a solution, right? Uh, and a solution at many levels and, and evolving even further, uh, further into the solution space. Solution first at the infrastructure layer, storage, uh, storage and compute. Dell is able to bring uh, networking into the, the equation via some of our blueprint work. Um, but the, uh, the vision of where the company is going, uh, the focus on the higher level management and orchestration. Um, you know, I, uh, I put on LinkedIn yesterday, I feel like I'm at the beginning of something very big. I'm just honored to be a part of it. Uh, very excited that Dell uh, has partnered with Nutanix uh, with the XC series. Yeah, so, yeah, it, it definitely has, the, the, you know, uh, big ambitions, um, and therefore if Nutanix can deliver, you know, the, the, this is a major change. They want to be, you know, a leader in software yes. uh, going forward, not just, as, as you said, it's not about the kind of hyper-convergence, you know, think of the box there. Um, so, it gives a little bit of insight, so some of those synergies. You talked about the networking that oh, comes yeah. in. Uh, you know, Dell's got, you know, very portfolio, including some of the software pieces, yeah. you know, is there swim lane set up, or you know how, how collaborative is it? it uh, it's it's very collaborative. So uh, we have uh, a team at Dell that is focused on doing the integration work. Actually, the, you know the platform integration work of the Nutanix OS onto Dell hardware, and Dell PowerEdge servers. You know, industry leading capabilities, industry leading reliability, having that as the uh, underpinning of any hyper-converged or any software-defined storage solution, but specifically Nutanix with all, with all the integration work we do is kind of the foundation. And above that, we, uh, we are layering in uh, increasing levels, you know, concentric circles expanding out from there, starting first with key applications. Um, we have a heavy collaboration with our EUC team. Uh, we have an end-to-end -end, um, cloud client, sorry, say that, couple times really fast, cloud client computing 
solution or a VDI solution inclusive of, of endpoints, inclusive of uh, networking, inclusive of some of the you know, key software titles. And uh, we're in the process of including Nutanix into our blueprint strategy, which, um, Sue, I believe you were at uh, Analyst Conference uh, recently, is that right? Yeah, so I, I, I know some people that were yeah, there, yeah. but I, I didn't personally get to oh, go down there, so. I'm sorry, I, yeah. we will get you there next year. But at Analyst Conference, we came out with, uh, with Blueprint, um, uh, our, our point of view on Blueprints. And um, if you look at what we're doing, I mean, Dell very much acknowledges that, um, uh, that there is kind of a, a segregated approach to IT. Um, the Gartner analyst that, w that spoke at the, uh, the conference yesterday talked about bimodal IT. And um, if you look at what we're doing in, in our blueprint um, strategy, we have kind of small, medium, and large for both traditional and new IT. So, it yeah, so, so it, it's interesting. We've been talking this week with Nutanix, and one of the things that you know we, we've put forth is, can they be you know really a bridge underneath? Yes. I want to have a single architecture um, that you know the workloads can change on top of it, but underlying I won't need to change that. Does that fit in that thinking, or do I have kind of the the old way, new way, and, and you know never the two shall meet? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think it, it's it's never the two shall meet. But I, you know, I do believe that there is a, a fair amount of investment made in uh, in the traditional way of doing things. And for many customers, building that, continue to build out in that traditional way makes sense from an ROI perspective. Makes sense from a skills perspective. Um, we have many offerings in the Dell portfolio that address that you know particular architecture. Um, but we are also working with you know industry leaders, and we we believe we have a pretty forward looking customer centric approach to enabling customers to make that transition. And from our perspective, you know, with Dell being, you know, being uh, able to have solutions, I, I, would, I would contend industry leading solutions on both sides of those approaches allows us to help be the bridge in addition to technologies like Nutanix. All right, so, so uh, one of the things Industry Watch has been wondering is, you know, how, how is the relationship going? And I, I know you probably can't give me, you know, a revenue number, yeah. but, you know, give me some of the high points, what are the proof points, you know, knocking down any million dollar deals yet. Yeah. Uh, you know, where are we with uh, kind of Dell plus Nutanix sales motion? Yeah, you know, for, first of all, from a relationship perspective, uh, it's going absolutely fabulous. Uh, we uh, had numerous, uh, both Dell product uh, executives and sales ex executives here at DocNets this week. Um, from the leader of our preferred accounts division to the leader of our large enterprise di division to the leader of our federal division. And the relationships uh, are, are, have been and are continuing to, to grow stronger in the field, right? And uh, you know, there, there's more of the relationship building happening here at this event. Um, from a pipeline perspective, from a customer interest perspective, uh, it's really been off the charts. Um, for Dell, uh, it's one of the fastest pipeline uh, ramps that we've ever seen. And uh, you know, there is a there is a sales cycle, right, that we're going through. Uh, we uh, in early days we we uh, closed a lot of POC. And early days, by the way, are like two quarters ago. Right. <laughs> it seems like ancient histories, but yeah. this was just yeah, two right, quarters. Right. We, we, we spoke it, at, at Dell World yeah. was right after all that hard engineering work. I mean, yeah. your, your team's really partnered, accelerated fast. I mean, you know, nobody thought it would launch to yeah. GA that fast. Yeah, we, we uh, uh, announced uh, last year in June and we, and we launched in November. It was a very short amount of time. So uh, we saw a lot of initial POCs, um, and then we went through uh, a pla uh, an underlying Intel transition going to the Haswell processor. And so we've seen a lot of those POCs that turn into actual deals recently. So, um, you know, we'd always like to see the, the sales revenue ramp faster, who wouldn't? But we're very pleased with the trajectory we're on, and uh, we're also very pleased with the pipeline in front of us. Okay, great. So uh, you talked about all the people here. I know there's a partner event uh, this, this afternoon. Is that is Dell participating in that? Yes, absolutely. Okay. And we participated heavily in the you know in the customer event as well. Um, we were one of the sponsors. We had a very big booth on the floor. Um, I just attended uh, the Dell um, uh, presentation, the hardware side of software defined, um, talking about you know some of the platform benefits that that Dell brings via our PowerEdge server uh, franchise. 
and it was, uh, I'm told, it was the highest attendance of any of the sponsor events. Uh, we had almost 80 people there. Wow, congrats. So, it, you know, there is definitely that's an That's great, interest. especially, you know, getting to everybody's packing up and leaving, so having them stick around and do that, that yeah. that's great. Uh, talk, have you had a chance to talk to some of the users? You know, what, what's conversations around the show? Give us a little bit of, you know, flavor for what you've seen here in Miami. Uh, you know, I, I think, uh, from my perspective, this is this reminds me a lot of you know early days uh, at other uh, companies that have gone on to be very successful in terms of that fanatical fan base, in terms of the the type of IT administrator that you see is very forward looking, you know, very uh, leading edge, um, very inquisitive, uh, you know, is looking at a full long term solution in their environment. Um, the you know I've had numerous discussions. I had uh, discussions with one customer. Uh, they run an online online retail um, property, uh, and they have a hundred notes. And he was one of the customers here. Um, just so it, the the you know it feels like um, to me the conversation is quickly shifting from hey this is a great platform. Well, let me not use the platform. This is a great product for virtual desktop infrastructure to it's expanding to server virtualization and it's expanding to some you know more database type applications um, so uh, like I said I, I really feel like we're at the at the start of something big yeah uh, and actually you know of course the solution does more than VDI um, but Dell's done a lot of work on, on that VDI stack talk about building the full stack uh, we actually did some there's some research we did uh, and we had as an example uh, some of the Dell solutions so yeah. you know what percentage of your, you know, kind of pipeline yeah. is in the VDI? What's not? You know, yeah. is 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 are you guys having as much success on the VDI as everybody else uh, seems to be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So VDI is definitely a strong conversation with the XE platform. Um, Dell has uh, brought value to the relationship in terms of endpoint devices. We have, I mentioned, the cloud client computing group that does a lot of our end-to-end -end reference architectures, tested and validated configurations uh, for VDI stacks. And so being able to provide that cookbook, if you will, being able to provide that assurance that we've tested it and it'll work, really resonates with customers. So, you know, I, it's hard, you know, pipeline numbers are, are always a little bit hard to, to decipher, but uh, I would estimate that roughly 50%, maybe a little bit more of the deals that we've closed so far have been VDI focused. Um, so we, it's, it's, it's probably the slight majority, but we're seeing uh, an increased uh, interest in server virtualization probably as the next big concentric circle. All right, so Travis, uh, I guess last question I have is really, you know, what's next? What should we expect to see from kind of the Dell uh, plus Nutanix? Well, you know, we, we had a pretty big announcement here at the event. We, uh, we announced, uh, you know, GPU support for the first time. Uh, we announced um, uh, a couple of new form factors, uh, a short depth form factor, which will be very uh, attractive for military deployments. So we have a very strong Fed practice at, at Dell. Nutanix has a very strong Fed practice. We think that's going to be a very popular product for, for those deployments. Uh, we announced KVM support um, for the first time shipping from Dell. Uh, Nutanix has had it, but we uh, just recently announced it. And uh, we also announced one other thing, the storage heavy note, uh, which uh, is, is I believe is going to be a very, very big seller as well. I mean, the ability to start to differentiate nodes based on are they compute heavy or storage heavy will allow for much more flexibility in, in the offering. So, um, you know, I think you're going to see a tight alignment with Dell and Nutanix going forward. You're going to see, you know, our hardware platform continue to uh, in continue to run in parallel with the Nutanix uh, in innovation, especially on the software side. You're going to see us bring in more pieces of the equation via Dell Blueprints and and you know that single point of accountability for service and support, which is so important for customers. And uh, you know, we just think it's a bright future. All right. Well, Travis Vigil, really appreciate you coming back, sharing uh, the, you know where where we are with the solution. Look forward to continued success of that partnership uh, going forward. Uh, we'll be right back uh, with, with our you know final guests here on the Cube. Uh, stay with us. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Stu.